you can watch this video in bengali language so that's why you need to subscribe my second channel hi there i hope you are well in this video you will see how to make a power bank i have faced many challenges in creating this power bank you might understand then when you watch this video this has 16000 mAh battery as a result you can charge your phone up to 5 time and this one is very small size and comfort to carry even this has a internal display for power monitor voltage and you will able to see a two usb socket for dual phone charging purpose also i added a female micro usb socket for this power bank's internal battery charging purpose guys i am bengali and you are listening this thing in bengali accent so let's find out how i build this thing This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. This is very reliable company. From here, I have always ordered PCB for my project. If you want to make professional project, then you can order your PCB from here. From here, you can choose your PCB thickness, PCB quantity, even you can select JLC PCB panel for business purpose. And the more interesting thing is that you could select six different color as you want. This is absolutely free of cost. More information, you can visit their website. The internal battery is the main part of a power bank. That's why I given so much importance to it. This type of battery is usually used inside of a power bank, and these are twenty five hundred milliampere battery. If I want to combine them and make sixteen thousand milliampere, then I have to use seven batteries here, and as a result, it will be much larger in size. But I want a small version. That's why I decide here to use normal batteries, and each battery is of four thousand milliampere. And if I combine them in parallel, then I get sixteen thousand milliampere. As a result, it is become smaller in space compared to other batteries. The next part is what kind of IC should I use to make it more efficiency? That is why I opened a power bank for proper analysis. And here you can see two IC. First one is for battery charging purpose, and second one is for five volt boosting purpose. And luckily, I found another IC. This has HT four nine three six S. This is very clever idea and I like this one because this one is controlling the whole process. Now I need some information about this IC. So that's why I searched by the number of this IC on Google and I found every information that I needed. So I decided to make it with this IC and starting a journey with making diagram and after completing the diagram I convert into a PCB board. My PCB wide is 60 mm and height is 20 mm. This is very comfortable size for my work. And after that, I upload this file on JLC PCB website for professional PCB. And after seven days, I receive this PCB. As my opinion, this is insane rather than any other PCB. The circuit diagram, garbage file, PCB layout is in the description box as always. Now time to mount everything on this board. First, I mount this SMD IC on this board. This one is 16 pin IC. What I like best is that with this IC, you can boost your voltage and charging your internal battery. Next, I mount two SMD twenty microfarad capacitor for input and output voltage. And the next step, I used four LED of three color that would help to determine the battery situation. After that, I mount a micro USB socket on this board. This is very complicated to solder for beginner, but don't worry, this is very easy. And obviously, you need to mount four point seven micro handy inductor. Next, I mount two A type USB female socket for output phone charging purpose. Other hand, I have used here a voltmeter for easy monitoring the output voltage accuracy. Why I am using a monitor here? Because IC is IC, it can burn any time. You can easily buy such voltmeter. That's why I attach this voltmeter to the board. Okay, now everything is done. Now time to connect battery. When you connect the battery, double check everything because battery is always danger. After connecting the battery, you can see here everything is running properly. And you can see when I press the switch, then you can see the display is showing me the proper output voltage. Even I can charge my cell phone very easily. It works fine, but it's still not usable because without case I can't use it. So for that reason, I have to create a nice case that I can use without any difficulty. Now I have to design a case that I can print with my 3D printer. I don't like doing this at all, but I still have to. For that reason, I have to accurately measure each object, and of course, to see all the objects are properly fitted or not. And with all this thing in my mind, I measured the length of the battery as well as USB, voltmeter, micro USB length, wide and height. It was very difficult for me, but I was able to do it properly. 
but this is not in here the next step is to create a beautiful design with all the string measurement in my mind so i started designing on my designing software and it took me less than three hours to finish it and convert it to a stl file after everything is done correctly then i printed this file with my 3d printer it looks nine hours to complete because it was made in 0.1 millimeter layer as a result you got a pretty nice case this case stl file you can find in the description box as always I printed two part, first one is button and second one is top cover. Ok now time to set everything in it. So keep this thing in my mind, I put this circuit board on this case and fixed it with some glue. And also I fitted the voltmeter and fixed it with some glue. And at the last I fitted the 6000 mAh battery. And how do I forget to stick the lid on top? Now it's usable. Now it's usable right? And I can take it with me wherever I want and it will be of use to me now. In emergency cases, this will be my backup for my charging. So this is for today guys, I hope you can learn something new from this video. If you like this video, then you can subscribe my channel and don't forget to subscribe my second channel for Bengali language and happy new year to all of you and enjoy your holidays and stay tuned on ETDiscover, we'll see you on another video.